Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today on Sip the Tally Films, after the Ravens take a 16-14 to 14 victory over the Steelers, I want to take a look at Ben Cleveland. I'm a huge fan of Ben Cleveland. I put out a video uh, early in the year that says it's your job to lose, Ben Cleveland. Uh, if you want to take a look at that, I'll put the, up somewhere up there at the top. And uh, I just want to take a look at Ben Cleveland, his 14 plays, and see what how well did he play or how bad did he play, and let's kind of go from there. So welcome back to the channel. Victory week for us again. We play again Saturday at 4. Um, so make sure you set your schedules accordingly. But let's get into the Ben Cleveland field. Roll the intro. So before we get started, I want to make sure I take care of a few housekeeping things. If this is your first time here and you like the content, please like the stream. Likes are extremely important to help us get into the algorithm of YouTube. Um, and if you're new and you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. And if when you do so, if you do so, click that bell so you can be notified when these streams drop randomly. So without further ado, let's get into this Ben Cleveland film. And so what I want to do is I want to kind of do like a plus minus situation. Oh, just got hey while I'm recording, somebody just dropped off off something. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, but again, while I'm looking at I want to do like a plus minus situation. And you know, in basketball, they kind of take like if you're in the game, how much more do you score than other teams? So in this case, I want to look at yards production yardage production while being Cleveland's in the game. So obviously the first play. His first play in the game was J.K.'s long run. And that's being highlighted right there, a 44-yard run. Let me give you something to keep up with these yards, too. And all he had, all he's doing is he's going to down block after the shift. Uh, I think that's Hayward. And watch him clear the way with, with Linderbaum for this, uh, this nice alley that J.K.'s going to have to run through. Come off. Good and low. Starting to turn. Um, I want to say this Hayward. And look at Linderbaum. Go to uh, Devin White, maybe. 55. 12, 55 years for them. And look at that gap that they make. Look at the gap. You got Ben Cleveland here. You got Linderbaum here. And Cleveland is just, you know, once J.K. gets through this, keep watching Cleveland. Watch what he does. He's going to finish the play. He's just not going to big bump and open the hole. He's going to try to finish you. He's going to try to finish you. When he sees uh, J.K. go through, and normally, 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 look at Linderbaum celebrating, Ben Powell celebrating, Ben Cleveland celebrating. 90% J.K. houses this, <laughs> but J.K. not 90%. I, pl I applaud his effort. I don't know if I'd be doing it because he's definitely, watch him drag his leg, them last couple steps. But again, He's a warrior, man, and I salute his effort on that. But this is focus on being Cleveland. Let's stay with being Cleveland. Next play, which is the touchdown. Ben's going to take, uh, what is this, the same cat? And just move him. It is Haywood. That's 97. Watch the movement. Haywood's trying to cross face. Nope. Stay on you. Finish him. And, and keep in mind, I'm highlighting this because that cat's pretty darn good. And if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the few times we've seen Ben Cleveland this year. But that cat right there is pretty good. I'm going to give him his props. He's a pretty damn good interior uh, defensive lineman. And Cleveland looks better than he did even when I saw him last. He looks better with his footwork. Obviously, we know he's strong as an ox, but his footwork looks like it's coming along. Oh, let's see what the – what the uh, watch column is on this play? I forgot. It is, was this a four-yard run? I think so. Yeah, four-yard runs. So let me add to it. So he had plus 48 while he in the game. Plus 48. Let's go to the next play. Now here we get a nine-yard pass. Nine-yard pass. If I'm not mistaken, this is an RPO to DJ, I think. I could be wrong. Let's see. Get run action. So he's still, you know, run blocking. The double team on Wormley working up to the linebacker. 
And again, it's an RPO, so he really, you know, he was in no man's land, but he didn't go down the field, which is key. He didn't go down the field enough for him to call it. And if he did, I, I missed it. If some, well, it probably was somebody else if they did. But I, I think this was a complete pass. I don't think they call us for men down the field. So now we're looking at plus 57. Plus 57 for Ben Cleveland. Now this is the first play of the second quarter. Gonna get a down block. It's a nine-yard run. So let me add that to it. A nine-yard pass. Nine-yard run. Just double team and work up to the backer. Now him working up to the backer. Look at that. Right behind him. Look at Gus hitting right behind him. Look at that hole he opened up. Again. See it. Combo blocking. You got a guy that can combo block. It's great. Down block him. Make sure Linda Bum got him. Work up to the next the next level. And run it back here right off of it. That's a great job. And again, remember I talked about his footwork just a second ago. Watch how easily he transitions from this block over to the linebacker and sticks on it. Sticks on it. Gets a good lick. When Gus going to go through, he's he not going to hold. He's going to let him go. Oh, I lied. That's the pancake. <laughs> That's the one pancake I remember. My bad. That's the pancake. Anytime a linebacker tries to disengage, that's when you should get your pancake. As long as your arms are inside, and they are. Bam. Now, you can't do that to the quarterback, but we can do that to linebackers. Let's go to the next one. So, here. We got a 16-yard run, so let me add that to it. These numbers adding up real quick. Let's see. 44 and 4, that's 48. 48 and 9 is 57. 57 and 9 is 66. 66 and 16 is 76 plus 6 is this 82. So we're looking at 82 yards so far. 82 positive yards with Ben Cleveland in. His snaps were limited now. Only played 14 snaps. The good down block. You got two for two right here. You got Linda Baum and the linebacker. You got um, Cleveland and this lineman. But both of these guys are responsible for these two guys. And because of that push, it's going to allow Gus to cut that thing back. And I initially thought Gus was going to hit this hole, but watch the block by uh, Oliver. And I thought that's where Linda Bum was going to hit it right there. I mean, not Linda Bum, Gus Edwards. But I guess he kind of thought they were going to fall into that, and so he bounced it outside. But still, nice run. 16-yard run. We'll take it. Great blocking up front. Allow him to, to be able to see that and even have an option to bounce it outside. But I love the fact that he can do work combos with Linda Bum. And they seem like they have a good chemistry. Not saying Zeitler and Linda Bum don't, but Ben Cleveland has been MIA. And to see him play well in the limited snaps he did, it's a sight for sore eyes to me. But I really thought he was going to come off. If he hit, if he hit that thing off Oliver Block, he hit it right there, I don't think this dude could even touch him. But the fact that he bounced it, the same cat kind of, that's Edmonds, ain't it? It is Edmonds, ain't it? All right, next play. Play six. What kind of game we got on this one? A sack. Minus six for the sack. Let's see what Ben Cleveland's responsibility is. So they're going to run a stunt. You're going to get uh, the nose tackle is going to come and try to pick Linda Bum, and you're going to get Wormley trying to loop around that. And they, they don't really – it don't happen clean – but Huntley's so tight up in the pocket that they end up, I think Wormley end up getting the sack on this one. See, so trying to take, this cat right here is trying to take take Ben Cleveland. Linda Bum sees it late. Cleveland sees it and already started picking on 94. So Linda Bum just sees it late. And because Snoop is so high in the pocket and they gave up so much push on the stunt, they gave up too much push with this right here. With, with 94 coming through there, they gave it up. They gave up too much. And and Cleveland only has one hand. He has one hand here, one hand there. So, really, they're in a lose-lose situation. But what should happen is, with that happening, Snoop should just take a step back and make sure his pocket's clean. 
that's that's called pocket presence, but you're dealing with a backup, so you know you get what you get. And good job of not throwing that ball because that probably been pick six. So I'll take the sack over that that interception right there. I'll take it all day, every day. And I know during the game I wondered how you get sacked on a quick game, but I see why now. 51 had, had, had Oliver locked up. Play seven. With an 11-yard run. So we took minus six from that. That put us at 76 again. Then plus 11, that's 87. We had 87 now. 87 positive yards with Cleveland in the game. Watch the double team down on Wormley, I think. It's a good job. Good job in pass pro. For what we asked him to do in pass pro, it's a good job in pass pro. Nothing wrong with that. I take that every time. Every time. Because we have so much stuff off run. Now, a little slow out of break. A little slow out of stands now. Watch. This is kind of lumbering. Watch out how, how slow that is. Everybody else, like Moses is already kicked. Everybody else is up and quicking. He's just not coming out of his stands. So this right here may be one of the reasons why he don't play a lot. Everybody else is in their stands and, and kicking. His hand's still on the ground. Hand finally come off the ground. Stanley and Moses are both in their second steps. Um, Powers has this guy squared up. Lindenbaum is going to work with, with Ben Cleveland. They're working together on that. But again, slow out the stands may be one of the reasons why he's not playing as much and one of the reasons why they went with, a, uh, with Cologne for most of the game over Ben Cleveland. Play eight. Four-yard run. So let's add that to it. So we're looking at 91 yards now. We got 91 yards. Let's see if he come out of, come out of the stand slow on this one. Oh, that's a little quick. A little better. A little better. A little better. I don't like that hop, though. I don't like this initial hop. Watch this initial hop. Bam. See? That little, that little pop-pop. He need to keep his keep his keep his steps. Just like his first two steps, his next two steps should be the same. Bam, bam. And if he needs to go inside, just push off that right foot and go back inside. He kind of caught him off guard, but he was able to recover because of his length. He was able to recover. And once he got him right here, it's, it's, it's good job. It's a good job with his arms inside, too. You can hold if your hands in the right spot. A lot of people don't know that. If your hands are in the right spot and inside, you can hold. And again, this hand is outside the framework of the body, so he just let it go. And now he's using that hand that he had in the right spot. Now, realizing that it's, you know, it's happening, he didn't pull him to him, could have been a hell, he just let it go and going to let it, you know, whatever happens, happen. He did what he could. And we almost got the first down. Now we come up with fourth and one. This is the fumble, so I'm going to do minus one on this one. I think this is the fumble. So we're sitting at 90 yards with him in the game. And this is the fumble. But watch how he takes the nose tackle down. And just washes him all the way down. He don't know it's a fumble. Watch that man all the way from, from one. He watched that man from one, one hash mark to the other. They're on the hash mark. Watch this. He's going to drive him all the way to the other hash mark. They don't know it's a fumble right here. These guys don't know it's a fumble. Watch him just take him and wash him down. Had in the right spot. So even if this cap, if it was not a fumble and he wanted to try to cross face, he can't because Ben Cleveland's had the right spot. So good job on that one too. But we do take the one yard off because of the fumble. Now we are in the later on in the third quarter where Anthony Brown comes in with his first snap. Ben Cleveland's in on this one. And this is a three-yard pass. And Ben Cleveland's going to block both of those guys highlighted. Both of them. Watch. He's going to have a hand in blocking both of those guys. Which helps because he's so darn long. He got the initial one right there. And he's blocking this cat with one hand. That left hand is the only thing he has on him. This right hand is about him and Moses about to help with this guy. Is that Watt? I don't know who that is. I don't know if it's Watt. But look, Cleveland blocking both of these cats. Moses does have a hand in there working outside to that person. But Ben Cleveland is basically blocking both of these dudes. You see, Moses end up letting go to kind of protect the quarterback. So you got a two for one with Ben Cleveland right there. Great job of Ben Cleveland right there. Getting a two for one. And we got a crucial three yards on that. So that put us on the one to the four. You can breathe a little bit after that. But again, outstanding job in the, in the pass right here. Blocking two guys. Because this is the real threat. The real threat is that guy. 
That's why. And that's what you see. That's what Moses' focus is now anyway. Even though it's a quarter is a tight end out there. Moses' eyes is right there. Looking at what? So Cleveland has to take care of this dude and this dude with a little help from Moses. But Moses' focus is getting back so Watt don't get a sack. That's, that's, that's a good job, though, by all these guys. That's a good job. Ronnie's block probably could have been better, but that's a good job by all those guys walling that thing off and making TJ come way around here to try to get a safety. Play 11. 11-yard 11 run. You get a down block. I don't know if it's going to be a combo or not. Let me add this 11 to it. So that 11 puts us over 100. We have 101 positive yards with Ben Cleveland in. Not much on a down block. Not much on a down block. So this is more so. Let's see if Ben 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 Powers gets a good kick out. Ricard gets a good block. Ben Powers gets a good kick out. But no, Ricard don't get a good block. He freaking whiffs. But we ain't, we'll talk about Ricard another day. Watch this whiff by Ricard. So now instead of having Ryan Stanley and J.K. out here in the wide open space, luckily we had an extra guy. Luckily, luckily. Ryan takes that up. J.K. hits it. Now, but what you could have had was, what you should have had was Ryan leading up on Minka Fitzpatrick with J.K. ready to cut one way or the other off of it. That's what you should have had, but 42 misses block. Next play. And these last few going to go kind of quick. That was a, what, 11-yard run? I don't remember what this is. This is the fumble that Ben Cleveland ended up recovering. So that's a no game. So we're still sitting at 101. Ain't much to talk about on that. Really, he had this guy, and he just happened to get in there on the fumble. That's bad on Kenny Drake. You get a, a incomplete pass right here, maybe. Did a good job on Wormley, though. Look at look at him abusing Wormley out there. This is Cleveland right here. Look at look at him abusing Wormley. Wormley tried to speed rush him. Nope, nope. I don't like his crossover though. But I guess when he was engaged, he had to do what he had to do. He, he got worm to see us out of there. And gets a knockdown. I ain't see that. And got a knockdown. Those stats count for Lyman. Oh, worm to try to, uh, to throw him by. Let it over rigid, rigid white club. No, sir. Not this bear. <laughs> Sit down, boy. Look like he hurt. He might have hurt Wormley right there. Well, Wormley might have hurt himself trying to throw him by. Oh, yeah, he buckled. Yeah, Ben Cleveland hurt Wormley. Mm. Let's go into the last play and get us get us up out of here. Last play is a sack, I think. Yep, that's a sack. So they run another game. Uh, he's gonna take out Moses. TJ's gonna loop inside, and Ben Cleveland has to sit, keep his eyes up. Pass it off and come over. That's what should happen, but it don't happen like that. So he go, he goes right at Moses, and Moses sees it, but Ben Cleveland gave up. But he didn't get back far enough. He didn't get enough kick slides. He saw that man go wide, and he stuck his hand there to help Linderbaum, which he shouldn't have. He should have been kicking here to protect the edge. Should have been kicking there to protect the edge, especially once 41 went that way. You got to recognize the front, too. You got five guys up there, so it should be man, from, it should be man on man. should be one, two, three, four. Five. This your guy. This your, and if anything, Justice Hill gonna help out here with with what? If anything, common sense will say that. So this is a bad play for Cleveland right here. We give I, I put this sack on him because he didn't set where here where he should have been, and then he would have saw this this game coming and would have at least been able to get something on TJ Watt. Not saying he would have stopped him, but at least at this point he leaning. He can't stop and change direction because he leaning trying to help him get back to where he met, messed up at. And Watt comes right up under him. Stanley gets, gives up a little bit, you know, too. He gives up too much, too, on this bull rush. But, again, I don't know how healthy Stanley is. That was, that was a good pass rush by the Steelers on that one, on both sides. And they got a sack. And so this was, let me see what the minus is so I can take this yardage off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looking at seven right there. Eight. Back to seven. Five minus five. 
minus five. So that puts us at 96 positive yards with Ben Cleveland in the game. And again, a reason I went with Ben Cleveland because I thought he should have been a starter at left guard from the beginning of the year, but he had issues with the, uh, getting there and passing the conditioning test and some other things happening. I don't know if he's in the doghouse or what, but I was impressed with his limited snaps. I only played 14 snaps, but he was a part of the sack that was given up and you know had a few busts in there, but I like the guy. I think he's the eventual starter at one of those guards. Even if, you know, we move on from Zeitler next year or the year after, I think with, with Powers and and um, Cleveland, you got two guys that can kind of anchor down that middle, especially with Linderbaum. And, again, um, I appreciate what he did. I, I liked it. I'm good with, with Tyler. I'm sorry with Tyler. With Ben Cleveland for this week. So, um, if this is your first time here, again, like the stream, like the stream, like the stream. Um Comment if you agree or don't agree with what I saw. Uh, if it's something I said you don't agree or don't agree with, put it in the comment section. Uh, I appreciate everybody that supports the stream, whether it be Patreon, whether it be membership, whether it be Cash App, whether it be PayPal. I got some uh, PayPals this weekend. I'm going to make sure I, I give you your shout out later on in the week. So I want to say thank you to everybody that does that. And if you want to contribute in any one of those ways, the link is in the description. So again, thank you for coming. God bless you. Good night. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Peace.